Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Shotgun King, the final checkmate. This is a new roguelike where you control a king and you must shoot the enemy king to death before the enemy pieces checkmate you. It's a ton of fun. Lots of chess and roguelike strategy. It's a very interesting game. Chess in the way that you have to use tactics to avoid getting checkmated by enemy pieces and roguelike in the sense that I did not mean to move there, I meant to shoot. Uh, in, in the sense that you have to devise a strategy that will allow you to become stronger and stronger against stronger enemies. So, a lot of both. I'm playing on normal mode for the first time, which is a lot harder than I expected for several reasons. First, I have less ammo than normal, which is actually painful because once you run out of ammo, you only get a new thing of ammo every two turns and the enemies start with more pieces. So here, I would have one less fire range, but their king would have three less HP, but they would also remove two pawns and add a rook. Or I play an extra turn when I kill a knight and my fire arc is 10 degrees more narrow, which is good. And they would get to add a rook, but I get to gain two ammo every time I kill a rook. You know what? Let's try that. Uh, the other one seems really good, especially the uh, courteous dagger. But I'm curious about how strong, if these are as strong as they look. I think they look quite strong. So I'll go here. I'll move like a knight to here. So now I'll probably get an extra turn. Hell yeah. They don't want to be put into check, so I'll just take a shot here. Kill what I can. Again, I can't be put into check, but I got a reload, so I guess I'll move up. Looks kind of tough. I still won't be put into check. Let's just shoot here, hit the rook and the king. And I got to move again. I got to kill off a rook. Good. This rook, unfortunately, I can't kill. But if I go here, I won't get put into check. So again, it's always think about where do I move that won't put me in check. This spot will be fine. Now that's just bishops. I want to go on light squares. And now I can focus down the king. Move around a little and then just shoot him and get him. Nice fights. So I won't mind more knights and more rooks showing up. Removes one bishop, adds two knights. This is insane synergy. And knights are short range attackers. Bishops are long range attackers. So they're getting rid of long range attackers for short range attackers, which I hard counter now that I have a larger range. I mean, that's just incredible. Let's get into this. Let's just make sure I can't get checked here. And then I'll get some free attacks or not. Do I kill? Now I've got to move. Okay. I... Where do I go, actually? I have to go here, but then I'll get put into check. I think I just have to accept it. Okay, now I've got to do some fun running. I am going to be put into check here. Okay, only this knight will move. So I've just got to go somewhere where I won't be put into check. Oh no. The only places I can move are places that will put me in check. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to move here then. So finally, if I move here, I... Well, I might still get put into check by this rook. I'm going to hope that this rook is stupid and doesn't put me in check. Because otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. Good, I'm not in check. Finally. Okay, I can one-tap these knights for extra turns. You are about to move? So I'll take you. No, come on. Can I move anywhere that won't put me in check? Possibly yes. Yes, and I'll do it. That's going to be right here. So, free turn. I killed this and get a free turn. And then I could just try to pick off the... Well, I got to reload. So I'll do a knight's move to here. To try to get the rook's soul. But I do have to move. I'll just move right here. Because I can pick off this rook now. I have a rook's soul. And more ammo. Give me some pawns here. Pick off... That pawn will damage the king. Get this pawn. It should be easy now. I can beat a single rook in a fight. Just get close and get him. Nice. Oh, that king still has too much HP. Get him. And got him. Nice. I like the synergy right now. Their knights just help me. But the queen is going to be added. Non-king pieces can't come near my king. This does help counter rooks and queens. Strafe mode, right click a target and fire on my next move. I'm gonna try non-king pieces can't come near my king. I think that this should help me out a lot against queens and rooks and there are two rooks. So I'll move up, move up again and try to get some shots in. Extra turn, well, maybe another one, nice. And now I just get a move. I'll move here, give me an extra turn here. 
Didn't get it. How about I try to pick off this queen? Two shots? Yeah, should be good. Nice. I can just move here, see how he does the rooks. I mean, by all means, this is fine. I'll have time to pick off the rooks. I can move here, pick off these pieces. Check is okay. Let's go here, get the knight, hit this rook, and reload. Got him. All right, it's as good as one, I'd say. I think I'll kill the king fast enough. Nice. Looking good. So, plus one ammo max. Add an additional soul slot, but remove one pawn, add one bishop. I don't like that. Or, plus six ammo max, and the king has plus two HP, and then they get plus one pawn every four turns. I think I still gotta take this one. Conscription is not very strong. This extra ammo isn't that good, unfortunately, because I doubt I'm gonna go through it over the course of a fight, but who knows? It might make a difference. So I'll go right here, see where the knights go. Can I pick off any? No, but I'm not in check, so now I can pick one off? I think I'm gonna take a rook move to right here. Pick off this knight and then pawn here. I'm getting close to picking off that queen. Now their pieces cannot directly touch me. So if I go here, I'm not getting put into check. Yeah, they gotta do something dumb like that. Get that queen and try to get this rook next. I mean, that knight's gonna put me in check, but I don't really care. I will just go right here and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, can I kill this knight? I can. Now I just gotta deal with these pawns. He's got a lot of them. But it doesn't really bother me. I should take out this rook first and foremost. And now this is generally a lot easier. Uh, but I'm just good enough to get him. Okay, so the extra ammo did matter. It went 25 turns, so... Long fights. I can play an extra turn after using a soul card. And then add one pawn. Knights have a shield that absorb every damage on a single turn. Yikes. Or right click to basically have a scope. But then plus two pawns, plus one rook, minus two HP on rook. Rooks would become one shot then. Yeah, I don't want knights to have a shield. I'll take the ruins. Rooks are one shotable. And plus I can go full sniper mode now. Maybe that'll help. Sniper mode. So now I can just pick off a knight, get an extra turn and then pick off another knight. What? Oh, the pawn. Damn you, pawn. This is fine. I can still move here. Get a knight, extra turn, knight, extra turn. Then I just got to move somewhere. Wait, can I just load here? Wow, okay. <laughs> this is the first time I've loaded while standing still. You learn something new every day. Yeah, this rook annoys me now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to knight move here. Now you can't put me in check. And actually, I'm going to go scope, pick off this rook, and then try to get the queen. Here we go. So now I reload. I'm going to be put in check by this rook. So actually what I'll do is go all the way over here. So now I will scope, pick off the rook. Do I kill this queen? I do not. I will go right here, go scope mode, pick off the queen now, and then pick off the rook. And now I just got to eliminate these pawns. Reload from here, and now I can take down this king. It is no longer a threat. Do a reload, get him, and got him. Sick. These fights are going better and better. Here, I can charge an additional shell in my royal shotgun, but knights have a shield. I can't let knights have a shield. Here, plus one ammo max, gain one ammo every time I kill a pawn. And then here, remove one rook, add five pawns. Damn, so I'm basically never going to run out of ammo. It's just I got to deal with the pawns having more HP. I think this is still worth it, but damn, this kind of hurts. <laughs> it feels like a lot of the up times uh, I'm taking upgrades is just going to make life worse for me. I'm going to just tighten up here. Pick off a knight. I mean, I mostly want to be able to pick off a knight and get an extra turn. Here I'll move a little closer. And again, scope. Pick off a knight. Pick off a knight. Then I get another turn. Move me here. I would like another ammo in my cartridge. Uh, the pawns are actually a very helpful barricade for me because they block some of the pieces from getting close. Here, I'll reload. Shoot this pawn. Fall back a little. 
Go sniper mode. Hit the rook. Think I'll hit this rook? Maybe. Ooh, beauty. What a shot. Perfectly sniped. Reload. Maybe I should go sniper mode on this king. I think I should. So I get you. Get you. You're almost dead. Now you're dead. King needs to be two tapped. Or I need three ammo in my gun. Plus one ammo max and one extra soul slot. But removes two pawns, it adds one bishop. I don't think I can take that. Plus three ammo max, adds one rook at the start of turn 15. Backups come five turns sooner. I think that's my only backup. So that lookout tower is not that big a deal. Too bad it's not actual helpful stuff for me though. Nah, you know what? I'll try a saboteur. I don't need lookout tower. The turning point was the additional soul <laughs> slot. That's basically it. There's still enough pawns to completely block them off. So that's fine by me. Oh, he's gonna get some development. I'll go tight and try to pick off some knights. Got one, another turn, and another turn. I think I'll just advance a little bit. That knight's gonna put me in check. That bishop's gonna put me in check. Okay, I move somewhere where I can't get hit by either. I will go right here. Kill the knight, hit the queen, reload, and then hit the queen. Beautiful. All right, let's get moving. Just wipe out a few of them if I can. Maybe stay on light squares. His king is well protected. Okay, this is fine. Oh, I actually can't kill this pawn because then the rooks will get me. I will go into sniper mode and get the bishop. Now I think I need to lose random pawns and just shoot here. I can go here and I won't be put in check. I should pick off rooks. Got one. I need to get these pawns way over here, though. But first, I'll go here. Now pick off this rook. Pick off this pawn. Okay, well, he's going to promote. He's a queen. Lovely. It's fine. I think I can still beat this king. Okay, queen's going to come for me. That's fine. I can dodge queen. Go right here and just wipe the queen out. How about that? The pawn's not advancing. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because they just simply are not allowed to get close. So that's, that's a nice barrier. Oh, now you're running. Do I get him? Not quite. Let's do a reload. Get him. Got him. Ooh, tough fight. Still taking it down. I need more damage of some sorts. Ooh, deal eight damage on random enemies. Castle, king swap position with a rook whenever he would take damage. <laughs> That's fine. I usually wipe out rooks before I get to kings anyway. Eight damage to random enemies seems pretty good. I assume this is, yeah, an ability. So what, can I only use it once per fight? I'm gonna go sniper mode right now. Let's pick off some knights. Wow, he's gonna put me in check. You know, I'm gonna knight move to here because I think I will get an additional... Yeah, kill on the knight. And I'll push forward a little bit. Get some of the pawns over here, and then pick off the rook. Because uh, hitting the king does nothing for me. I might as well go for the rooks. Here's the queen. I'm in check. Double check. Awkward. I think I'll actually knight move out of this one then. Get you right here. Gives me a good spot to probably two-tap this queen. Done. And then this is pretty aggressive going right here. His rooks can't even do anything that exciting. Let me see how this goes. Eight damage on random enemies. What hits? Eh, I figured it'd be a bunch of random BS, but honestly, that's not bad BS. Because I can wipe out this rook on a good day. AKA not today. At least let me, you know what? I'm gonna go for sniper mode, hit the bishop, hit a rook. And let's get a movement in. Let's go sniper mode, hit a rook, hit a king. Do I think that he's going to dare to promote his pawns into rooks. That'd be kind of funny. I'll move back once. Two tap the king. Nice. Your promoting cannot save you. <laughs> damn, that's so many pawns. I do have to be fast. I need more damage, damn it. Ugh. Maybe this, the king having one less HP and the queen also having one less HP and the queen being neutered? Possibly. I can handle that. So I assume I will get this back at the start of floor 10 now. 
I do. I will sniper mode. Snipe. Snipe. Then I'll get my move on way over here. Start working on some of these. I can't kill this bishop because that rook will have an attack on me. So how about I fire kind of into the king? I'll take a move here. I, yeah, I expect the knight to put me in check. Was hoping I could attack my way out of it, but no. Okay, move me here. Let's pick off some pieces. I'm not in check still. I am in check, but I can't kill this knight? Are you joking? Okay, maybe this will kill the knight. Just gotta hit once. Ah, let's go. Oh, nice, nice swap. Okay, well, this rook is next to go. The bishop's gonna move. I'm afraid of this not wiping it out. So you know what? I'll go sniper mode here. Get the bishop. I'll just hit like this pawn instead. I really want that queen dead. He's got rook back up. That does not scare me. Get that pawn. Get the queen. Beautiful. If I kill this pawn, he does still shoot the rook and I can't kill it. I might have the knight or queen move out of here. I think I will queen move out of here. Get me right here. And then let's try to kill some rooks. So then I'll rook soul all the way down here. Sniper mode. Pick off pawns. Hit something, anything, please. Move a little closer. We got a knight and a bishop. Amazing promotions for me. I think I'll take this into sniper mode right here. Guess an easy double turn. And now I could just work on this king. Move away a little bit. I mean, he's advancing. Good for you. Or I could one tap you. Another one bites the dust. Approaching the final two floors. This is my final buff. Please have this be good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Black mist to protect me from death once per floor is exceptional. Or plus two firepower. I was hoping for this, but I think it's a little too late now because this downside is brutal. Pawns can move and attack in four directions. I can't have that. Black mist is incredible too. I will never pass that up. Well, unless if the perfect thing for my build is in, but I think the black mist is the way to go. Sniper mode. Hopefully I can pick off this knight. Yikes. Okay, I'm in check here. This will be fine. Kill knight, get a free turn, and then just attack somewhere into here. I will go right here. Because that lets me get, hopefully a free turn. Hopefully a free turn. There we go. So reload me. Free turn, hopefully, nice. This bishop should die. And again, keep reloading because that locks these three pawns in, in place. I will go sniper mode, pick off a pawn, and pick off a queen. Beautiful. Now I'll come down here. He's got rook back up. I'm not scared. Hold on. If I shoot this king, does this at least one shot the rook? It does. And I've got to pick off the pawn. So now I'm going to do damage to all. See what gets hit. It wasn't great. Sniper mode. Pawn. Pawn. Reload. Sniper mode. Pawn. Rook. Reload. Sniper mode. Pawn. Rook. And I'm doing good now. Just want to get the king. Just want to get the king. All right, king will die. Reload. Sniper mode. Get this pawn. Get this king. I could have shot the king twice but I wanted to have him watch his pawn buddies die. Every single one of them. Well, except the ones I left alive. Uh, technicalities. Hey, on to the final boss. Hell yes. This is what I like to see. Now, I don't think my build is even that good. I just gotta sniper mode my way to a narrow victory pretty much every time. And also the non-king pieces not being able to come near my king is kind of a lifesaver. So, sniper mode, shoot, bang, and I'll move a little closer. I'm going to hit whatever here. I will move then. I will sniper mode, get the knight, and get, I think, a random pawn. It's not random. It's the first advanced one that I can't block physically. Sniper mode here. It's boss time. Hell yeah. Pick off the pawn. Try it again. There we go. Reload. Sniper mode. Pick off pawn. He's got a rook back up. I will take out this rook then. Reload. 
Sniper mode. <gasps> I'm in check. Too bad I can't kill you. I have to fall back then. And here's what's gonna happen. It's time to wand of downpour. See what gets hit. Okay, I can work with this. Kill this rook, please. Thank you. Kill anything in this direction. Reload. Sniper mode. And here's how it's gonna go. Pawn. Queen's gonna be extra annoying if I don't get it right now. So now I have to reload. Okay, that's just the knight. I'm gonna shoot here, hope to kill a pawn. Didn't get it. Oh, it's just another knight. Kill the pawn. Good. I was hoping to kill the knight, but it didn't happen. Here I've gotta move like a knight to get out of here. Or do I? Technically, no. This is actually way better. I cannot be checked in this position. Sniper mode? Knight? Knight. And I guess reload. And now just pick off the rook. Pick off anything here. This is looking good for me. Give me a reload. Get these pawns. Oh, come on. Thought I had you. All right, fine. Reload. Oh, is that king gonna hurt me? I want the bishop dead. So it's gonna do things now, right? So I have to move. And then move like a rook. I mean, this king is annoying, but I can shoot you. No, I can't shoot you. Okay, fine. I will move like a rook all the way to here, I think. I'll go sniper mode. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I can take out the queen though, so it's all good. And then take this out. So now I can move like a queen. Let's go reload. Do I even need a sniper mode this? Just hit him for three for, and four. Okay, yes, take it down. I can still move like a queen and get out of here and like a knight, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take a while before this thing moves. I, I, so I think I get him. You promote. Oh, how does this work? If I kill the king, he won't have any checkmate on me. This is exact lethal. It's perfect. What? Oh, it's fine though. I still have black mist. Okay, I thought it was perfect, perfect lethal. And you don't kill me. I have black mist. What? You do kill me. Also, it had four HP. I was about to deal four damage from point blank. Why then could I not kill? It was because it was gonna move or something? See, I planned that out expecting to be able to kill it then. The fact that it didn't was a huge game changer in a bad way. I did the math, I'm like, oh, I'll just win. I guess clearly I needed to kill this pawn. And also Black Mist doesn't save me. Damn it, th there was so much that I expected to save my ass that just didn't save my ass there. Uh, well, still a good fight. I'll have to run it back. Hope to have better moves next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next Shotgun King video. Have a wonderful day and peace.